In this demo, I'm going to show you how to fit a simple linear function to x, y uh, data pairs. So I've already prepared my x, y data pairs. Here's my x data. Here's my y data. And I've already plotted these using an x, y scatter plot. And so I have x, and it would be important to report the appropriate units. I have y, also reported with appropriate units. And here's my scatter plot. And you can see the scatter plot is, is, is fairly linear. This would be typical of a calibration curve for a UV visible spectrometer, pH meter, and there are many other examples in economics where you would expect to have a linear function between X and Y. So we want to find that linear relationship. The most straightforward way to do that is to simply click on the data. And you can see my data points are highlighted and then to uh, right click or control click on that data and hit add trend line. So Excel will now put the best fit line to the data and I like to display the equation on the chart so I have added that <coughs> to my uh, options, my trend line options and I've also asked to display the R squared which is the index of how linear the, the data is. I hit OK. And that function is now plotted on the chart, and we could see the slope of this data is around uh, 2, 1.994, and the intercept is around 1, or 0.9698. The disadvantage of this simple analysis is that it doesn't tell us anything about the error in the slope or the error in the intercept. Fortunately, Excel gives us a, a nice tool to, to do that additional analysis, and that's called uh, Linest. And over here, I have the Excel uh, help window for Linest already uh, pulled up. So to get additional data on a linear function, I'm going to use the function Linest. I do equals Linest. Here it is. I'll pick it. And it tells me that it wants known Ys first. So the known Ys are here. I've highlighted those. And now I'm hitting the Alt or Apple key to select the known Xs. Um, so they're my known Ys. They're my known Xs. The next value it wants is a constant. If the constant is true or admitted, then it will calculate the intercept. So I want it to calculate the intercept, so I indicate true by putting in a 1, or I could have just done comma, comma. And 2, I want additional stats. Logical value specifies whether to return additional stats, so I will hit 1 and return. And I'm done. And you'll notice that this first output is 1.99403. That aligns exactly with what um, <coughs> Excel calculated using the trend line function. That's a good thing. This is the slope of the function. But I only have one value here, and I want to know the slope, the intercept, and additional statistical functions. And Linest is what's known as an array function, and its output is actually an array of two by five values. So you notice that I have now highlighted um, over one to give me a, a two columns wide by uh, five columns, one, two, three, four, five columns deep. I'm going to click at the end of the function, and I'm going to hold down the Alt or Apple key and hit Return. And when I do that, it, it displays all of the values of, of this array function. Unfortunately, Excel doesn't tell you uh, what they are. It doesn't label them. Um, the labels are provided in the help, or you can save them in another spreadsheet, which is what I've done and paste them in. And so now I have my labeled regression coefficients. So the slope is 1.994. That agrees with the trend line. The intercept is 0 0.9697. Again, that agrees with the trend line. What the trend line didn't give you is the standard error in the slope of 0 0.02. So that means we know the, uh, the slope of this line to essentially 1%. Um, it also didn't give you the intercept 
in, in the trend line of about 0.2. So that means we have about a 20% uncertainty in our intercept. It also gives you the R squared, the standard error in the Y, the F statistic. There are 13 degrees of freedom in this analysis. The sum of squares for the regression is a, around 1,000, and the sum of squares of the residual is around 1.5. These terms are also defined in the Excel uh, help, and you can uh, refer you to the uh, help uh, documentation if you want more details on those regressions. So that's it. That's how we can use LinS to get the slope intercept, errors in the slope and intercept, and it's also how we can use the trend line function to do a, a, a simpler or simplistic um, linear fit to y as a function of x linear data.